The way the heart works with conduction is your heart has its own cells that are, we actually call them pacemaker cells, that tell the heart when you sleep, you're asleep and your heart rate needs to slow down, or when you're active or climbing stairs, your heart rate should go up. Sometimes as we get older, those cells in your heart don't work as well as they're supposed to. And as they do, they have periods where they're slower than they need to be. We have many, many medicines that can treat fast heart rates. We have no medicines that you can take as a pill that increase slow heart rates. And so if you have a heart rate that's too slow because those cells in your heart as you've gotten older have become sick, then the only way to fix that is to put a permanent pacemaker in. A pacemaker is an implanted device that simply speeds up the underlying heart rate. What a pacemaker does in some people is it drives the heart rate at a certain rate that their heart is not capable of beating. Other people, a pacemaker simply makes the bottom of the heart do what the top of the heart tells it. The top of the heart sometimes does exactly what it's supposed to. You go to climb stairs and the top of your heart tries to beat at 110 beats per minute, but the bottom doesn't listen. So there's one electrical fiber that connects the top to the bottom of the heart. And if the electrical signal does not get to the bottom, it doesn't matter what the top says, the bottom determines your pulse. So the top of the heart can beat at 110 beats per minute, but if only every third beat gets through, you still have a heart rate that's in the 30s, and that typically causes people to feel dizzy or lightheaded or like they're going to pass out. Sometimes people who have heart failure have abnormal electrical conduction through the bottom of their heart. And in those people, when the heart contracts, one side of the heart contracts before the other. And the way I always describe it is, your heart should contract both sides contracting together in a uniform manner. When you have one side of the heart contracting before the other, it's out of sync. And when that happens, it takes the heart more energy to work and the heart doesn't contract as well as it should. That also can lead to remodeling and worse heart failure long term. And in those people, we put in a different type of pacemaker where we put three wires in instead of two wires. And in that device, one wire goes in the right chamber, one wire actually goes outside of the left chamber. And when it paces your heart, instead of your heart beating out of sync, it paces both chambers together, which resynchronizes the heart. That results in improvement in heart failure long term.